This is now a common sight along the Georgia coastline as June 8th marked the official start of shrimping season in the state. That means you'll be all hands on deck for the next six months as these crews will try and supply the ever increasing demand for fresh local seafood. Federal water shrimpers can actually shrimp year round assuming we don't get temperatures too low. But for our state waters, which go out to three miles, uh, typically our beaches open sometimes around late May, early June. Um, and a lot of that depends on the conditions of the shrimp. So the state does have monitoring stations throughout our estuaries and offshore for them to assess the size of the shrimp, the reproductive status. They also look at things like water temperature and salinity. The start of shrimping season is of particular importance for the more than 400 licensed boats in Georgia as it allows them to control their input costs while also hunting for the more highly valued product. When the state waters are closed, the shrimpers might have to go, you know, they have to go out more than three miles and there's an economic cost to that. And certainly when you can shrimp, you know, right off the beach, that makes it a lot more uh, economic for these guys. But that's also this time of the year, we have a lot of our roast shrimp and these are the shrimp that have recently re uh, spawned. Um, and these are really prized in the market because these are the much larger size shrimp. Now getting the shrimp from the water and into the market is much harder than it seems as crews are working from sunup to sundown seven days a week over the next few months. It's one of the big reasons why you see a major decrease in boats on the water. You know, this is not something that's a part time job. They get up early every day. They're long hours. It's hot out um, and it, 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 it's not for your average person, quite frankly. And you'll find that a lot of our shrimpers, whether it be Georgia or another state, this is in their blood. Usually their uncle, their grandfather, their dad did it. Um, so often it gets passed down generation to generation. And that is a concern for those involved with the industry here in the state as it is affecting every aspect of the profession. A lot of times we hear what's called collectively referred to as the grain of the fleet. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, often the shrimpers come from a family of shrimpers. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of times the younger generations are just not getting into that. And this is not unique to Georgia. And it's not just the fishermen. It might be the people that work at the, the wholesalers, the retail but things like uh, welders, uh, electricians, because they have to maintain our boats. And, you know, unfortunately, our boats aren't getting younger. A thriving shrimping industry is especially vital for the coastal region of Georgia as it has a major economic impact across the board. You know, for a lot of the people that live here, they recognize when those boats start going out on a daily basis, uh, people really do get excited about knowing they get Georgia shrimp. And not only for themselves, but for our economy, you think about tourism, uh, how important that is to the whole state, but particularly here in the coast, because that's something that draws millions of people to our coast every year is knowing that they can get this, this wonderful Georgia shrimp. Reporting from Glenn County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.